Hello everyone, sports fans, Chiefs Kingdom. This is Kyle Nice Baker TV here once again. So time for another prediction video as it's this Sunday afternoon. We have Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars at Arrowhead Stadium uh, in week 10 already. And, well, the Chiefs will come off a nail-biting win in overtime last Sunday night, beating the Tennessee Titans 2017. And, yeah, that was a nail-biting game. Uh, our offense, especially in the red zone, struggled, but our defense was good enough to get the win. The Titans ran the ball in the majority of the game, and Mahomes set career highs in completions and passing attempts. Uh, he had over 60 throws, uh, which put him for like third most ever in NFL history in a single game. So, and yeah, so it was, you know, kind of a gutsy win, but we were able to hang on and we are a 6-2 and two tied for the top spot in the AMC along with the Buffalo Bills. So, and here we are facing Jacksonville, uh, who are 3-6, and six, uh, led by second-year quarterback Trevor Lawrence, who they took number one overall last year. And, yeah, he's on a solid second year. Already 2,000 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. And, yeah, the Jaguars 3-6. and six. They came back from a 17-point deficit last week to beat the, uh, the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders are 2-6. and six. They have uh, three blown leads of 17 or more points. Of course, one of them was against the Chiefs. And, yes, yeah, so the Raiders' playoff hopes really are in jeopardy now. And the Jaguars, 3-6, and six, they are, uh, have as many wins as they did all of last year. And trying to get, uh, they ha actually have as many wins as they've had the last two years. Uh, as last year they had three, 2020 they had one. And, yeah, uh, they're also led by young running back Travis Etienne, who also was uh, teammates with Lawrence while he was at Clemson, but did not play last year. He was drafted last year, but did not play the whole season due to an injury to his foot. And they also have rookie linebackers Travon Walker and Devin Lloyd. So, so, you know, pretty talented team, led by first-year head coach Doug Peterson. And yeah, so Jacksonville, who started out the season two and one, then they lost five straight. But they're three and six, which for them actually seems pretty good. And they could very well finish third place in their division. So, uh. And, well, uh, Chiefs, who we will apparently be without, McCall Hardman in this game. Uh, he is, will be out Sunday, uh, looking at his injury, uh, a abdomen injury, so he will not play tomorrow. Uh, and, yeah. Hartman who had a touchdown last week. Uh, he's got a total of six touchdowns from from scrimmage this season. So that's a, you know somewhat of a loss, I guess. Uh, which means Kadarius Tony, who of course we were acquired uh, from the Giants before the trade deadline, uh, he could get more playing time. So. Uh, yeah, and the big news around the league 
Bills cornerback Josh Allen will basically be a game-time decision tomorrow for their game against the Vikings with a uh, UCL injury uh, that he suffered last week. And, yeah, so they may start him, they may not. But hopefully you can avoid a major injury that could cost him surgery. So, and yeah, they have a huge game against the Vikings, who are 7-1. So that could be a possible Super Bowl preview. So, and yeah, Chiefs, these next few games after this one, pretty tough test. We play at the Chargers next week. And then we host the Rams, and then on the road for three straight games. So, as we're now basically in the second half of the season, and yeah, so I ain't picking us to win this game, of course. I'm gonna say uh, 28 to 17. Uh, I think it will. I think it will be a close game. The Jaguars have six losses, but they've been in quite a few of quite a few uh, close games so but yes we'll see what happens so till Sunday against Jacksonville Alex Bigger saying go Chiefs